Hey everybody, it's Axel from Axel Azuli Entertainment, and welcome to my new Minecraft series. This is Prison, the Rival King. And you may be wondering, Axel, what are you doing? Well, this is a prison video. I'm doing it on a prison server, isn't that great? And the server is opblocks.net. Capital O, capital P, capital B, all one word. I'll type in the chat. Oh, well, I'll type in the chat. O P blocks dot net. Did that? Oh, that's wrong. Uh, o P blocks dot net. So yeah, that's the IP. You can come on the server if you want. Now, the reason this is called Prison the Rival King is because I have a goal on this series. As you may know, this is the series that Craner plays Prison on. And his goal in his series is to become the candy king of this server, which I'll explain to all the newbies in a minute. Uh, and my goal is to be a rival king and eventually defeat him and become the candy king. Mwahahahaha. So this is how it works. If you know a prison server, you go and you mine stuff and you sell the stuff that you mine. For example, yada yada yada. Let me just throw some this stuff in a chest. Do 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 I'll show you an example. Slash warp E, because I am rank E already. I've only played this for two days to see if I was ready to make this into a series. I'm already rank E. Ooh, the mind just reset. So as you can see, I have a fortune like one why well, I have an efficiency like one thousand pickaxe. Because that's what you get on this server. Uh and the goal is to collect all these materials and you sell them to the shop and you get money. As you can see on the right side of my screen, it says balance and it says I've gotten 1.4 million dollars total uh, so far. And with this, if I completely fill up my inventory, I can get around like 200,000, I believe. Let's see, see my inventory's already filling up, it's insane. Uh, yeah, this mine resets almost constantly because almost everybody's in E rank, it's crazy. But uh, you wouldn't imagine how hard, uh, with Craner on the server, well no, with Craner playing on the server, you wouldn't imagine how hard it is to get on opblocks.net. Literally, you just have to hit the re uh, uh, the re uh, press button on your multiplayer screen for like 10 minutes and just pray that someone accidentally gets booted out or has to do homework or something. And you have like a 3 second gap to get in before someone else gets in. Because it only has a maximum of 500 people. Hopefully the server owner of his newfound fame will buy more space. Uh, and as you can see, my inventory is already getting quite, quite full. Uh, so candy, for those who don't know. Uh, unlike most prison servers, this has uh, a reward for farming. Many of the foods are uh, uh, called candies, and you can sell the candies at these mines where you sell uh, the minerals that you get. Let's see. Oh, I'm almost filled up my inventory. Uh... And as you can see, this is a pretty freaking OB pickaxe, and this is just the member pickaxe. Uh, so yeah, nether warts are lollipops. Uh, if you turn sugar cane into sugar, I believe it is, uh, it is, sugar is jawbreakers, I believe. Uh, smelted cactus, cactus green is Laffy Taffy, I believe. Oh my, uh, how does this guy keep, oh my gosh, I gotta get out of there. Uh, the heck, I just like dig straight down a giant square. It's insane. Uh, I always see that guy on this uh, mine. Isn't that odd? That exact same guy. And I played like I've been on the server like twice today. Up oh, and that sound means that my stuff inventory is full. So let me teleport back up here. And now I'll show you my buying process. Now look at my inventory. I've got crap ton of diamonds, crap ton of lapis lazuli blocks, and crap ton of uh, gold. And when I sell it all, my ores, click, that's 250000 more uh, uh, dollars for my collection, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so, Craner, uh, for his, uh, to become the Candy King, he discovered an exploit. Uh, because these pickaxes, it has 1410 on it, as you can see. Uh, Actually, it only has a finicy X, but it has unbreaking 1,000. Uh, so, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so he figured out because of the fortune, if you broke a, a nether wart, which in this is uh, this server is a lollipop, 
you get like twenty. Well, you get like ten Nether Warts out of it, which makes you absolutely uh, insanely rich. Uh, so he started doing that. The server owner is probably gonna fix it soon. He's either gonna nerf uh, lollipops or like find some way to keep people from getting so many lollipops. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that exploit is insane. Uh, I've done it some, I've gotten many stacks of nether uh, warts, but when it comes to me, if you guys know me, you know I like automation, I like having this stuff automated, and I will show you my automated farm in a second. You saw I was on that cobblestone stand when I was at my plot, uh, what was that, uh, that was just me leveling up, uh, that thing was going to be an automated uh, sugarcane farm, but I don't think you can get redstone on this server. Because it seems like redstone would be too OP if all the automated farms people could make. So I thought to myself, how am I going to make an automated farm when uh, there's it with no redstone at all? And uh, then I thought to myself for a while, and I started walking around all the plots, and I looked at other people's plots. Uh, that thing I was on at the beginning, that was my plot. Uh, you get to build on your plot, whatever you want. Uh, trainer has a plot. Everyone has a plot. Uh... I'm saying plot way too much. Uh, <laughs> so I was looking around, trying to see if there are any farms that were non-automated, it will automated, but didn't require redstone. And then I found some. It's well, I'll show you in a second. Let's see. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm done for right now. Got to show you guys that. Don't want to just drag out the episode with me just doing that, dude. Uh, so that's another 223,000. I'll show you the prices. For emerald, you get 20,000 for a stack, but I've never gotten an emerald in here. I don't know how you get the emeralds. I think it's from the higher ranks, uh, mine. Uh, like if I get some more money, I'll become a rank F and go to mine F. Stack of diamonds, that's a lot. Stack of sandstone, that's barely anything. Lapis, that's a ton. Is that more than diamonds? Oh my gosh, that's more than diamonds. Whoa. Uh, gold, that's a good amount, and that's it for that. And for candy, a stack of pumpkin seeds, which are nerds, I believe, is a little. Nether wart, it's cheap. Uh, this is ink stacks or something. This is the cooked cactus, the Laffy Taffy. Uh, this is lollipops, this is Laffy Taffy. Laffy Taffy gets you a good, that's a good amount of money. Uh, cocoa beans, uh, those are chocolate chips, maybe? Uh, I don't know. Actually, no, that's nerds, that's jelly beans, and finally, sugar's jawbreakers, and that gets you some money. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, so, now let's go to my plot, and I'll show you. So, this is my plot. This right here, I was uh, I was saying, was going to be my automated sugarcane farm. You probably recognize it, because it looks really similar to my one in Stranded Custom Minecraft Survival, uh, but no redstone, I believe. Oh, a shout out to this guy. This guy right here is Blue ba uh, Bear Blue Fourteen. Uh, no, uh, Bear Blue Fourteen. You see his name there on screen. Big shout out to him because when I started on the server, I lost several of my crops, and he gave me stuff that I had lost at the beginning. I just had to ask him, and he gave me Nether warts and pumpkins and uh, a bunch of stuff. It was real nice of him. Oh, and if you want, come and donate to me. I don't really have much. Uh, I'll show you my ID so you can find it. Uh, my thing's real banana slime. That's my Minecraft account, and my ID's negative twenty-seven by forty-six. Uh, so as you can see, I've got my sugary canio right here, just for collecting. Nothing special. Uh, here I got my pumpkins. Oh, see, there's that huge lag. It's insane. And finally, my automated cactus farm, level one. Level 2, level 3, level 4, and I'm about to start working on level 5. Oh, snap. I forgot I dug a big hole. You like it? This is my hole. I live in here now. Yay! Nope, I need to get out. Eh. Eh. Uh, so, and there's my cocoa beans over there. And there's my nether warts over there, and I've got a lower nether wart thing here. And for this, this is my auto smeltery. You simply put your smelted items in here. You put your coal in here. They feed into the hopper and they feed into more hoppers which go into here. 
I don't have any real use to it since I can't, uh, well, cacti drop from there into there, and there into there, and there into there, and then they go into a hopper, which leads them into this chest, which deposits them into this furnace, which is connected to this coal reservoir. I'm going to fill this up with coal I get from the mine, and it'll just continuously feed the chest. And as you can see, it's cooking cacti. Uh, that's it. See, it, yeah, it is Laffy Taffy, uh, and it's turning it into coal. And it'll feed into here, into here, and into there. Let's see how much. Before, right before I started this video and I checked, then I had two stacks plus 20 more, uh, uh, plus 19 more. Ooh, I've gotten a lot. Uh, so I've gone up uh, over half a stack just during this video alone. So as you can see, it's a pretty efficient farm. Uh, and I'm going to build this thing in my survival world. Because it's freaking amazing. Uh, so let's... Uh, let's take it and see how much Mune I can collect from this sugary cane and the candy. And that got me 40,000. So that's not a huge amount, but as you can see, I got that all for free. Uh, and whenever I need more coal, I can just go back to the original mine, warp A. Uh, well, mine A. And here, I can get my cobblestone, iron, and coal, which is pretty sweet. Uh, boop. So, I am going to become the candy king. The king of the candy. None shall stop the king of the candy from being the ultimate king of the candy. And Craner will bow down to my candy empire. And I will be a rank Z, or whatever the highest possible freaking rank on this is. And maybe he'll even give me a rank, because I remember Craner said, first crazy family members to win get, uh, stuff. Uh, will they get a donor rank? Now, as you can see, uh, if I just do this, uh, I will only really pick up iron and coal, which is pretty sweet. Uh, which is, uh, so I can get as much coal as I will ever need, and I will be rich, 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 and I will have, uh, all the cactus. So let's mine a bit more before we end off this episode, see if I can get myself some nice coal, and, yeah, then we'll end the episode. Let's just dig, 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 get some coal, get some coal, in the coal, 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 da, 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 da. Nobody gonna stop me cause I'm gonna get the coal, gonna get, get the coal, gonna get, 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 get the coal. Uh, da, 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 Okay, so there's no real point, uh, well, there's no real point to me dragging this on. So let me just go back to my plot. I was planning for this to be a bit of a shorter episode. Not the shortest episode I could have done. I could have just been like, hi, here's my base. Here's how the server works. Goodbye. But you guys deserve a nice long video. So let me just insert all of this coal in here. So now, as you can see, all this coal feed into this hopper and into this hopper. And then into this furnace. And how the heck did sugarcane get in there? And if I ever want to... If I'm making another layer and I need cactus to cover that up, I can simply flick this switch and nothing will leave this chest. It turns off that hopper, which is really, really nice. Uh, boop, boop, boop. So yes, I've got myself a nice crap ton of test, uh, of stuff, but I've got to be careful that the sugarcane doesn't fall down there. Uh... So I'll just show you my other layers so that you know they're the same. Yes, they're basically, but instead of a chest, uh, uh, you see one broke there. Uh, and the server numbers are going down because it's almost 9 p.m. where I am. Uh, and shout out to uh, uh, BearBlue14 for helping me out. Come uh, find me on the server. Maybe donate. Tell me where you guys' plots are so you can, uh, so I can donate to you guys. And we'll have a nice fun old time. And where did my pumpkin stems go? No. Ah. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much this episode. So if you like this, leave a like, a comment, 
And maybe if you have really feeling like it, subscribe and join the Axel Empire. And until next time, I'm Axel from Axel Azuli Entertainment, and goodbye.